Hi everyone, in this short video, I just wanted to share with you a cool little fact about Blender. Blender aims to make everything animatable. So they aim to make every property in Blender animatable. So that gives you the freedom to animate anything that you want. You don't have to only animate objects and characters. You can animate a whole lot more than that. What does this mean? Well, let's look at the lamp. So say we have settings here. So for example, let's just change the Let's just change the cycles render and work with this lamp. We can actually animate the strength of our light. So if I go use nodes, I can say I want the light to be strength 100 at frame 1. And at frame 100, I want it to be strength, say, 500. So we can animate, and we can see it turned yellow there. So we can literally animate the light going from dim to bright. Or we, or we can even animate the light turning off and on. And if you want, we can also animate the color changing. So if I say I want the light color to be a bluish color, I can animate that right there. And you can see there's a yellow highlight around that. And at frame 100, I want to change to, say, a green or red type of lighting. And then hover over and just hit I. And that pretty much sets the keyframes. And sorry, that's something that I just forgot to mention. If you want to animate a property in Blender, all you have to do is hover your mouse over that property and press I. That will instantly set a keyframe at whatever frame that you are currently on. And this gives you great flexibility in animating whatever you like. You can even animate the focal length of the camera, or you can animate the, I don't know, uh, depth of field of your camera, and many, many things like that. You can even animate modifiers, like, for example, if I have an array modifier, uh, with a bit of distance. I can animate the count. I can make the cube go one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But maybe each second I can make the count um, increase or decrease or whatever I like. So we can make a, a 3D progress bar if you for you website designers out there. So yeah, uh, pretty much almost every property that you can find here is animatable. You just hover your mouse over any property that you can find and just animate away, you know? Just pre just hover over and just press I. Note that still not every property is animatable. Uh, you have to find out, like for example, this one, the start and end frames of a particle system cannot be animated. The main reasons are maybe that property should not be animatable, or the Blender developers have not yet included that feature in there yet. It's still a feature that they're, they're currently working on. So this is one of the main reasons why Blender's animation function is perhaps one of the most powerful from all 3D software out there. You can animate everything. Well, nearly everything. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.